where at a uh, thrift store? Yeah. This the fridge, laundry machine. Each thrift store has different stuff, but this one has appliances. It's an automatic cleaning litter box. Yeah, but too small. What is this? It's a cat house? I guess maybe it's warm. This? I don't think our cats need their own warm house. Is this oh. a tiny Roomba? Dyson. Eh, this Dyson Roomba. <laughs> Panasonic one is triangle. 70 bucks. We could use this as a bench in our Genkan. <laughs> it is cute. Center table. Table. And these pendant lights work for your toilet. Mm. This is from Loya. Oh. I recognize this pattern. It's a Same as our entertainment table. system. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <laughs> The thing with a lot of Japanese desks is they're so low. Like, look how low you would have to be sitting to get your legs under here. <sighs> what kind of chair is like all the way down here? Oh, oh it's so soft. This is a grandpa chair. <laughs> oh. Is it? I like it. It is comfy, right? It's very comfy. Mm, I like it too. How much is it? Original price? 500 bucks. Oh, half off. Half off. Electric chair? Yeah. Reclining? That's why it's so expensive? No, it's comfy, that one. Really? Yeah. It's comfy, but that one's more comfortable. Also from Loya. Oh. Do you want there to not be a pole in this corner? Yeah. So it's easy to... Yeah. Hmm. I also feel like I'm working on our entertainment system. Feels a little strange. Oh. New store. Sewing machine? Look how fancy it is. It says it doesn't work. It's oh. an antique sewing machine. Bluebird. This is super cute. Look at all the sakura petals. Plate is pink. It's only $14. For, for five sets? Yeah, but for like a fancy plate, I like it, but June kind of ruined plates for me when he introduced me to the concept of like imagining what food would taste good on that plate and now I I can't imagine like what do you eat on a plate like this other than dessert and I don't eat dessert at home like hardly ever so what do I put on this and eat pasta that feels wrong meat fish I don't know it all feels wrong this set is cute too a little dessert set but once again I really don't eat that much dessert at home I also like this it's like a cast iron base for something hot. I like Edo Kiriko. They use a special blender to do this design. Curved uh, design. Kind of looks old fashioned to me a little bit, but yeah. It's classic. My mom used to have like strawberry design stuff in the kitchen when I was growing up. Decorations and curtains, little tiny strawberries like this. And I really, really love them. I want to get strawberry stuff again someday. Maybe your mom can send you some. We can use hand towels. How much are these? Oh, 20 bucks. <laughs> it's a little expensive for strawberry. A little? <laughs> for strawberry hand towels. June, look. Isn't this really cool? It's like super old fashioned style. I like it a lot. What's oh, so heavy? We could put it outside and grow flowers out of it. And it'll look like, it'll look like part of our garden is like the ruins of a ancient civilization okay. wouldn't that be cool all of these are really delicate and then that thing is like 40 pounds <laughs> probably you're the first yeah. person who is got attracted to this vase really oh my god it's so heavy what is this made out of is this not cool it's green it's actually green i didn't know that it is cool can you read this so i can look it up <laughs> what is it uh, but our garden isn't even ready at all, I know, so. But we, there's no way we, we could know if it would still be here. I'm pretty sure this will still be here. Why? Next year. If I like it, surely some other people like it too. Fridge, oven. appliance section. Look, it's a cute toaster. Is it pink? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's Bruno. What is that? What is <laughs> Healthy, delicious food, made easy. What's going on? It's an interesting grill. How do you clean it though? I mean, they, they got good. good photos. Oh, look, they made a pita. Pita pocket. Pita <laughs> panjang. I need to check results and see if people think I should get the vase or not. So far, yes. <laughs> Could be cursed. I don't think it's actually old. <laughs> 
pretty sure it's modern. This is like one of the most common styles of unit kitchen. They're all the same height. I mean... It is nice and cheap and reasonable. It, this is the first one I've seen that actually kind of has a fake wooden design that makes it look slightly nice, but... Ooh! Ooh! Nice. Ooh! Is this like popular in other countries, the style of dining room table where now they sell like um these like corner that. seats? I know, I like it too. What the hell, dude? It's furry. <laughs> what? It's furry. <laughs> I, would, I would be afraid it would catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. Hey, how about this for your bathroom? No, That's thank you. That's a cool shape. No, no, thank you. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. I only posted it 12 minutes ago but it's overwhelmingly yes for the vase. And I really like it. I want it. It's just cool, June. <laughs> Looking for treasures. I want the giant iron vase. Most unexpected product for them to sell. It's, it's metal. It's so cool. Okay, I'm, gonna put I'm it on happy our, for you. I'm gonna put it on our gang pond. What, you don't want a, a giant? No, I just didn't expect this. That's all. <laughs> to go with a really heavy metal base. <laughs> Isn't it freaking cool? I love it. How much is that? 20 bucks. Okay. It's a little expensive. But I really don't buy stuff that often anymore. Like hardly ever. It's a pot. Yes. That's all the information they can give us. Cool. Pot. Pot. <laughs> Unexpected purchase, but I'm happy for you. Hello, baby. I need pokey. With pokey, I can pet peachy. Good girl. Such a good girl. Oh. Anyway, we've got snack time boksu. with boksu thank you so much to boksu for sponsoring us thank you so much and okay cat <laughs> so cat house Pe pokey's running away and peachy's following as usual um yes this has been really helpful for us building our cat house nice. and it's introduced us to a ton of different snacks we didn't even know they had here every time i open it i enjoy the theme what's the theme for this month Ta -da! Ooh. Kansai Autumn. Ooh. So the Kansai region of Japan is around here. In this box, they have snacks from Osaka, Kyoto, and Nara, and then also Kanagawa and Ibaraki as well, although those aren't Kansai. Every month, the theme changes, and they have new snacks in each box. It's really exciting to always get like new stuff to try. Yeah. Boksu sometimes works with individual snack makers, like in the case of this one, Kujo Scallion Arare. It says it's an exclusive collaboration with Takenaka Seika. So this snack is only available in bulk soup. Nice. Do you want to try some? Mm, it's very Japanese. I like it, obviously. Hey, let me try one. I want to put this on like a Japanese salad. It tastes like a very Japanese flavor. Yeah, and then you get negi flavor at the end. I didn't know this is how you write figs in kanji, actually. There's a kanji for yeah. Ichijiku. Yeah, no flower fruit. I guess. Yeah. So I guess then they have fig snacks with fruit. Ooh. My brain immediately went to lemon. I yeah. love lemon. Stop it. Doop. This is my favorite version of this type of snack. The pie? That I've ever snack. had. Yeah. yeah. I want to try this too. Handmade fig candy. Oh, here it is. This is another Boksu exclusive. Yep. I never tried or even heard of fig candy. This says fig candies are rare in Japan. Yeah, so. I think so. <laughs> never even heard of that. That checks out. Here, I want to try one. They look really cute. They look like tiny little candied apples. It's a rather gentle flavor. It's not overwhelming mm. at all. Nice. I like it a lot. Mm. I actually like it more than ume candy. This got my attention and I like the packaging. It has deer and daibutsu from Nara. So cute! Right? There too. Aww. Let's try. Looking good. Beautiful. That's a like a super traditional looking Japanese design. Dakimalas. Cheers. It's a little crispier than a lot of these like types of snacks that we've had yeah. in these boxes. Mm. But it's really good. Very crunchy. The matcha is a little bit bitter. 
I feel like this would go really well with tea or coffee. Tea or coffee. Mm. I feel like the flavors in this box are a lot more traditional Japanese flavors than not, yeah. they usually are in Boksu. Kansai and Kyoto specifically are kind of considered one of the like traditional hearts of Japan. So like when this says Kansai Autumn, it really does have this unifying theme to me of traditional Japanese flavors. Yep. If you're interested in trying Boksu, you can use our code and link in the description box to get Pokey. <laughs> no, you can't get Pokey, but you can get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box subscription from Boksu. Thank you so much, Boksu. We'll get back to our regular video. Yep. Dude, it's a giant model ship. It's huge. It's a battleship. That's so cool. <laughs> Dude. Look how many cannons are on it. Is that how many cannons were on these ships in real life? HMS Victory. I gotta look it up. Man, I'm having a great day. We're finding like a lot of really cool stuff. What's this? Is it an umbrella holder? Do you want a giant traditional fork and spoon? Or like a wooden katana? This is cool. We're not allowed to have real swords in Japan. Unless it's like registered. Bokuto? Yeah. But we could have a wooden one. When school kids go to Kyoto on school trip, some, some, some of the boys will get one of these wooden swords. I mean, I want a wooden sword. <laughs> we can display above our front entrance. Smart woman's hips. I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I like this table. Yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. Can you Do you read? like have like ikebana? Yes! Or bonsai. We don't have tatami room though, but... Yeah, I know. We don't need it. We'll figure it out. Oh! <laughs> they have the same cup you got. <gasps> Yay! Well ago. It's our cups. Oh, is this Mount Fuji cup? Three, Three bucks? Three bucks. And look at the gold. It's shiny. Mm. What would you use it for? Pork? <laughs> Savory meal? <laughs> like what would, what would like, look appetizing on this? If you look up like a classic Japanese meal recipe, I think you can get uh, ideas easily. Sashimi? Do you want to open up some boxes and see what's inside them? Sure. Mm. Oh, that was really boring. <laughs> eh. Let's look at the bone china. Meh. Meh. That, I think, is pretty cool. That design over there. Eight bucks. This is kind of pretty. Although, again, we don't drink. Super cozy. Whoa! It's like a rainbow. Look how old this looks. Wouldn't this be cute with like one of those um, little bonsai that grows out of a moss ball? Yeah, they use it. Are these? <gasps> how cool is this? My grandparents used to have one of these. Yes, and I love it. Look at the joints for the side of this. It looks really nice. Oh, they're hard to use, but <laughs> it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Look how it's made. The joints are beautiful. <laughs> I mean, we really don't need this, and that drawer doesn't even go in all the way. Wait, this for 60 bucks? Look at this. It also has a key. This one's a thousand bucks, though. This was originally $1,500. I think so. And they're selling it for 160 bucks. Mm. What is this? This is crazy looking. A shelf? Uh, uh, Antique. How do you? <laughs> interesting. This is very interesting. Look at this. It's like black and gold and glass. It's $1,300. But like, look at it. This is already sold, but like, it's pretty. Look at this. I'm not gonna touch it since someone else already bought it, obviously, but that's so neat. And we're on our way home. Yeah, it was really fun, actually. Yes, mm, and I we got our cool vase of unknown When I opened the trunk earlier, this, this is the first thing I saw. It's like a painted green a little bit. And there's a mark on the bottom. I have no idea where this is from. 
I don't know how we're gonna figure it out either. I, this was very unexpected, but I'm really happy for you. <laughs> so we managed to figure out where our vase comes from, thanks to amazing archeologist Lee on Instagram. She was able to find a couple different vases that have the same mark on the back. And through that, I was able to discover the original company, which is called Hoshu. In the beginning, we didn't even know if this was Japanese or not because the maker's mark here is very, very stylized. It's not easy to read as kanji. Yeah, I can only guess the, the bottom second one. That's Shu is the only kanji that came up to my mind when I look at it, but the top kanji? No, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> so it ended up being Hoshu which is a province in China mm -hmm. or like an ancient prefecture. I don't know how to pronounce this. It was Fengzhou. It's actually not a Chinese vase. It is Japanese. And so the proper reading is the Japanese way, Hoshu, which is the name of the brand. A Japanese brand that, by the way, only entered the internet sphere last May. So they've only been online for like five months and there is next to no information about them on the internet aside from their social media and lots of auction listings, which didn't give us any information about the company itself. So like, it's really lucky that we found this now. I was able to find their email. I sent them photos and I was like, hey, this looks like one of your vases. Do you know anything about it that you could tell us? And they very, very politely responded with some information about it. So this vase was made by a brand called Hoshu, which is a Takaoka copperware company that was founded in 1917. Takaoka is a city in Toyama prefecture. Takaoka copperware is like a type of traditional, I would say Japanese craft, although it was borrowed from China originally. So it's like a, the Japanese version of an ancient Chinese craft where they use copper alloy to make various types of products. This company, Hoshu, makes lots of flower vases, but like the Takaoka copperware in general, they can even do like giant Buddhas and statues and things like that. This product, the product number is S50. They were able to tell us that. And the name of it is Junhao. <laughs> How would you read that again? Shu Hotsubo. Shu Hotsubo. I mean, I'm only guessing. It is a copper alloy. They don't know what year it would have been made, but because it was made with a mold, they can guess that it was made on or after 1953. So it is a modern vase, like I suspected, but also it is a part of like a traditional Japanese craft. I'm really excited that we were actually able to figure out where this vase is from and it makes me want to treasure it more knowing how it was made. Thank you so much to Yuki-san from Hoshu for giving us some information and confirming that this is indeed one of their vases. And then thank you so much to archaeologist Lee. Without her help, I never would have been able to figure out what the mark on the bottom meant. So conclusion, this vase is not cursed. It's actually blessed with Japanese craftsmen. That's a really nice thing to say. Yeah. We, it probably isn't cursed. Pro <laughs> We did get it from a thrift store, who knows? Um, you got the treasure. But yeah. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting this inside, in or around our Genkan somewhere. I'm not sure yet, we don't even have our house. So we'll figure out where it works best. Yep, but and we're gonna make more updates, a video about our house too. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yay. Thank you guys for watching, bye. Bye, see ya.